Hey there guys, welcome back. Today I'm gonna to be making a garden gate for a friend using half lap joints that I'm gonna make with a circular saw and a chisel. The half lap joints are gonna make for an extremely strong gate, a clean looking gate, and it's also going to save you money from having to buy a gate hardware kit and a half lap joint is going to enable this gate to work for years without sagging. So give me a few seconds or uh, minutes and we'll see what I can get put together. The first step we need to make is to mark all of our edges. I'm simply using the width of the lumber to mark each joint on all ends of the eventual square of the gate. After all of our marks have been made, we're going to use a tape measure and set the depth of our circular saw to three quarters of an inch. The three quarters of an inch is going to be exactly one half of a two by four because this length right here is an inch and a half. So we want to cut exactly half of this out to our two sides will make one thickness. The first step I'm going to take to make these half lap joints is to use my circular saw to make a series of relief cuts on the marked ends of the boards. Once these are complete, you can use anything to knock these out. I'm just using a hammer and a chisel. Right here I'm using the circular saw to kind of shave down the uh, things, but if you're uncomfortable with this, I would definitely advise just using the chisel for the remainder of this work. This can be dangerous. I'm just laying out my pieces uh, with each corresponding joint onto one another onto my workbench and then using that to square it up. Pre-drilling my holes and now I'm adding screws. After it's pretty much locked together, I'm going to use my last piece to make my diagonal brace. I'm just eyeballing this and using the pencil as a basic guide. Once that's marked, I can do the uh, same relief cuts that I did before. As I did before, I'm using a hammer and a chisel to knock out the rough pieces of my relief cuts. After I've got this whittled down quite a ways, I'm going to also use the saw again. Like I said, don't do this unless you're very, very comfortable with uh, working with a saw like this. The kickback can be pretty intense. Once my half laps are done on both the gate portion and the diagonal brace, I'm just going to give it a quick test fit and make sure I don't need to make any other tweaks. It seems to be fitting pretty good, so I'm going to go ahead and just put some screws in and then it'll be pretty much ready to install. The best way I've found to hang any type of gate or door is to use a shimming board. You'll notice there's a 2x4 laying on top of the fence and the gate is actually clamped to that while I install the hardware. Take that off and the gate should be free swinging now. For the second gate, I'm using the same technique with the shimming board, and again just using clamps to get it in the desired location, and then adding my heart.
I'm going to take one last look at both gates just to make sure everything's lined up and working properly. And if you look in the background, you're going to see a sneak peek of a future video to tour my friend's urban farm in the making, showing desert gardening, rainwater harvesting, composting, chickens, and a whole bunch of other really cool stuff. As always guys, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.